it's time for talk. Each evening at this time, Monday through Friday, Rosemary interviews local personalities and others who bring items of interest to this community. Time for Talk is a community betterment service. Tonight, Rosemary takes us by means of portable camera out of our studios and maybe into your neighborhood. And now, it's time for Talk. The kind of programs you seem to enjoy, at least the kind that we receive more comments from than any other, are programs that involve historic sketches, things about Dunklin County or the Boot Hill that uh, are old, that uh, take you back into history and give you a little knowledge of the area. We're going to try to do that with this program tonight. We have come out in the colony. Now, I know this as the colony. The younger ones do not know this as the colony, but we are out um, on the section just at the edge of Kennett. Uh, we're on the way to, toward Hawkeye. Independence makes a turn, and this street is called Independence in here. And we have a lady standing here. You see her name on the mailbox, May Pearl Yunt. Is that the way I'm, am I saying your last name correctly? And May Pearl is one of the very early people to come into this colony. Uh, lived here longer than May Pearl? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you buy your house from the people who developed this? Yes, I did. And, and how, did you, how did you get your house? Did you, uh, did you bid on a house? No. Did... Uh, it was the people that first lived here. See, I first lived here when the government, uh, uh, when the government done, built these houses. Now, why did the government build these houses? For low rent. For low, for people that's you know lived out on the farm. Okay. Did you have to have just a certain amount of money? Did you have to have just no, a certain uh -uh. income? No. Uh -uh. Well, uh, but they didn't sell them to rich people. Well, they, the city of Kennett tried to get it. They was going to make rent houses out of these, and they couldn't. Oh, they were going to make the city wanted to make rent that's houses. I heard. Out. I don't know now that to be the fact. Okay, and but the government somehow developed this. Do yes, you know yes. more about that? Did the government well, developing it? Who? No. Uh, and they developed it for. Did they go into many towns like this and build these houses? Yes, they did. They they got one at uh, Wardell and East Prairie too, I think. East Prairie, Wardell. I think so. Sort of. Thing. Yeah, there's one. Uh, I know there's one at Wardell. And you were farming when you heard about these houses for sale? No, we had we lived down in the swampland down there, or below Cruz, and the water got our crop. Okay. And uh, now, what year are we talking about? What year did did you move here? Let's see. Well, I think in forty or forty one. I don't know exactly. And you bought the house. Nobody had lived in it. Oh yes, yeah, somebody lived here. See, I lived over there in that house right straight. Uh, See where that gray house is, the next one. I okay, live, they okay. They call that 22. I live there. Okay, now they had numbers. Just the yeah. houses had numbers, uh -huh. like 21, yes, 22, 23. Yes, they did. Uh -huh. uh, not city numbers, but no, they were. No, uh-uh. They changed our uh, addresses out here now because they said it was hard to deliver the mail. Yeah, yeah, with some people having regular house uh -huh. numbers. And you... See, we had two extra houses built in here, and that kind of threw everything in a mess. Okay. But uh, you lived in number 21 first. 22. 22 first. Uh -huh. And you bought that new? No, no, no. Yeah, I just rented did. that. Just rented, rented it. it. Just, I was the first person to live there, and I rented it. And then when uh, this firm in St. Louis bought these houses, well, they had the first people that lived here would, have a, uh, would get the first choice at these houses. After that, the soldier boys. Okay, so you could walk around and look at what houses no, were no, being... No, 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 uh-uh. We had, we was, my husband was in the civil service. Yeah. And we had some friends here, and they uh, wrote us a letter and told us that they were selling these houses, and they were selling them to the people that lived here first. And so they, uh, we told them, uh, we sent in a $100 deposit. Well, Pearl was saying she sent in $100. Uh-huh. And uh, so they picked this house for me, my friends did. 
This one that you uh -huh. live in now. But somebody had already lived in it because they rented it. Okay. All right. And we moved in here in, uh, well, uh, this first of November. It's been 48 years. Okay. Uh, and it was in 1941. I think so. 40 or 41, okay. I believe. Uh, is that about the time all the people bought these houses and moved No, in? no, no, no. Uh -uh. They never bought them until, uh, let's see, my daughter was born here, and she's 47. You know, count back. So they bought them about when you bought yours. I bought uh -huh. mine just a little bit before she did. Okay. We, we, moved, we bought ours way back in the summer, but they had... Uh, they had furniture stored in ours. See, they had stoves and tables and beds and chests and everything. And, uh, and oh, they, you you bought your house furnished. You no, had the no, stove. No, I didn't, didn't get all that. Yeah. I didn't get all that. Yeah, I did. They all they all had, they all had, had a lot of furniture in them. Okay, so some had the stoves. I guess you could buy it any way you want. If you wanted the stove in, you no, could no. It. You just they just had a set price. Okay. Do you remember what the price was for the Yes, house? it was. It was uh, $600. And you sent in $100. Mm -hmm. And then do you know how much you paid a month? I don't know. Pearl remembered uh, $745. Yeah. I believe that's about right. I don't know exactly. Uh -huh. so, so you've come along with $745. You yeah. Know, was that hard to come up with every month? Well, it was pretty uh, was pretty hard because times was really rough about yeah. that time. Yeah, and they began to get better, so uh -huh. it began to get much easier. But we've improved these houses. I spent, I bet I spent $5,000 or more on yeah. my house yeah. uh, just to not... Not the upkeep, just the building it up. May Pearl was remembering the wash house that used to be. Yeah. You didn't mm -hmm. have water here. No, we didn't and have water. May Pearl was remembering the wash house that the whole community yeah, could Yeah, that's use. right. That's right. And then she said uh, there was a church. It was uh, either torn down or made into a church building or something. Uh, no, at first uh, it was a clubhouse. It was a clubhouse. Uh-huh. They had a club there. And then after that, why... These people from California bought that, and they tore that building down. They made a church. They built that church. Okay. Now the, the people who came from California uh, was built this uh, was this Abernathy's? Yes, uh, it was. And they came here to get away from the earthquake because yeah. California was going to drop in. <laughs> they called them the earthquakers. <laughs> the earthquakers. Yeah, they came here to the New Madrid Fault. Uh huh. Uh, the Lord led them to this place. That's what they say. This is the second worst place in the whole United States, and the Lord told them to sit here. That sound. Um, okay. <laughs> they they built this church. Yes, they built this church. And many of the people live out here. May Pearl, you told me you remembered that many of them. Um, no, they don't. None of them live here. No, but now you said that they were planning to buy the whole colony. Yes, yes I'm trying to get that hair. Uh, I'm the only one that, that's uh, lived here that's left of the ones that first lived here that rented. I'm oh. the only one. Okay. They was Glenn Barnes and Roy Rather. They was. Uh, they both passed away. Everybody that's out here, they either moved away or died. I'm the only one that's lived here from the time it was established up until now. And May Pearl didn't There's a bug on you. Know, a bug, are you? <laughs> May Pearl I believe, didn't. I believe we moved from 45. She didn't. So she didn't come for several years later. Mm -mm. They hadn't been a house that burned out here. They're all standing. Okay. Um, yeah. Did you? Uh, the house was oh, yes, there's one house burned. Uh -huh. Where the Davises lived. Yeah. Uh, okay, Davis. but when you got water, you also, have you got hydrants, fire hydrants out here? Uh, uh, got one fire... down there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see that. Um, now, did you, were you able to get your choice of houses? If you rented, you could get your choice. You didn't have to have a drawing to see who got no, the, what uh, They just told us the ones that was left. The ones, uh, about all of them was filled up when I got over there in 22. Okay. So and they, uh, they just told me which one I could get. And so I come as, and looked at it. As I, they completed the houses, they would rent them to people. I don't really know. I and don't really know. Like you. Like you were renting. The farm. Okay. Yeah, they rented them. They rented uh -huh. them for a while, and then they finished the one you wanted, and you could buy it and move into it for $600. No, no you got that all wrong. No, I got it all wrong. <laughs> but mark that out. Okay, <laughs> tell me again. No, uh, they, we rented them. Yeah, and the, then the people see we was farm workers. Yeah, and the farm workers is the one they built this place for. Okay, good. All right. And then after uh, after that, uh, my husband went to work for the uh, 
civil service. Okay. And they made us move out of 22 because they said we didn't qualify for the house. Okay. All right. We was in the civil service. Yeah. So how did you get this one? Well, because we first lived here. It was for the people that first lived here. Okay. And we lived here first. So you did, you were able to get one. That's right. All mm -hmm. right. But the idea behind it, it was for farm workers That's who right. had very low little income. low uh -huh. income That's people. right. That's which is, which is a good idea. They have several of these. I don't know. Uh, I believe they had one of these prairie in Wardell, but they had several more of these. I believe there was eight or nine of them. But oh. the man that sold these houses was Mr. Rogers. He was yes. from St. Louis. Uh, May Pearl was remembering yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the Rogers well, name. Yeah. That's yeah. where you sent your hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the clubhouse a while ago. It was the wash house first. And then well, it was the clubhouse? Yeah. And yeah. what was the clubhouse? Who who used it? What was it? Well, it's uh, uh, they sent a lady down here, and she was the uh, overseer of it. And then all the women out here, they went over there, and they worked. And uh, 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 What kind of work? What did they do? What well, did this lady who was the overseer, what did, well, what did she, she did, oversee? I don't know. She just come down, and people would go to all these different places, and they'd teach them stuff, you know. How to cook and how to oh, sew and all okay. that stuff. Okay. And did you ever go there? No, uh, I never went to none of the places only over here. And all we had over here was just business meetings. Oh. When I lived on the farm, I took all that training of cooking and uh, canning. But after I come out here, I took it again. They learned us how to use these pressure cookers so yeah. we could can. At this clubhouse? No, right about. here in this house. Where they Is this blue uh, house? Right there wasn't nobody lived in there at that time. And that was a house where all the women met, and they taught them how to use a pressure cooker. Okay. And they had a, a, a kindergarten out here, too, where you could send the small children and the government, the government Sponsor workers that. sponsored the uh, the learning of the right. how to how to do all. Now that was before they sold to the the parties in St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know before they sold to the parties in St. Louis. Uh huh. All this was government, and what we done. Heard a new deal, Rosemary. I bet so. Okay. Uh, and now uh, they. We, we had to pay, we had to work. We paid so much a month, and the, and the women worked at this kindergarten thing over here, and we had to work four hours a week. And the men cleaned the ditches. They okay, work. all of you women, the, the wives, the... Uh, that the, wanted to, if the men, you know, if your man was working, and he didn't have time to clean no ditches or work, why the women worked at the, uh, over there at that kindergarten place. Okay, now this was expected of everybody that lived in this Or this house. lady had an office over here, the the lady that run the club. Yeah. And she had an office in there uh, right over here on this second house here, down here. And uh, she had an office in there, and you could clean that office too. So you, so th some sort of community service was uh -huh, required. That's right. And if your man could clean the ditches, you, right. then that was Four hours that a week was required, and that was 16 hours a month. And and but if he was working and he couldn't do that, then you could help with the kindergarten. Yes, or you that's could, right. Uh -huh. May Pearl, do you remember doing any of these no, things? Well, she didn't live out here then. No, okay, so this was only for a few years. Yeah, only for it was, the, a, it was a, quite a while. Six, eight, eight ten years. When we were sharecropping up north of Kennedy here. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't the way we got it. We just said it's for low in, low income people. Okay, low income sharecroppers, mm -hmm. maple, or which we would were qualify. Low, low, low income. You were low. Yes, if you were sharecroppers, you were low income. <laughs> Made pretty well. <laughs> well, and then every house got water, didn't they? No, we so. never did have water till we bought them. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I All put right. the water in my own house. Okay. And what year? Do you remember what year you got water out here? No, I don't. We didn't have, they didn't have that. had a pump on the back porch? No, I had a pump out in the yard. Pump in the yard? Yeah. yeah. And did, uh, yeah. and how did you take a bath? Well, in a galvanized long tub. <laughs> like right. we did back when we lived on the and, farm. And you pulled it in the wintertime? Huh? In the, in the wintertime? Well, yeah. You have to take a bath. It's winter or summer. And some of you are watching this, and you some of you remember this, even if you don't admit it. And the rest of you are saying, I can't believe people ever had to live like that here. But these ladies that we've been talking to live in the colony. They're some of the earliest people. They're sisters-in-law, I think, are you? Sisters-in-law, and we have been in the colony today talking with 
two ladies who remember the way it used to be here in Kennett. And the next time you pass this turnoff or drive into the colony, you think, well, there's a lot of history gone into Kennett here. Well, I... You have been watching Time for Talk. Time for Talk is a community betterment service designed to cooperate with our local community betterment program. Each evening, Monday through Friday at this time, Rosemary interviews local personalities and others who bring items of interest to this community. If you are aware of items of interest, please let us know for possible airing on this program.